Hey allihopa! Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Say It In Swedish. I'm Joakim, your personal Swede. And today we're gonna talk about age limits in Sweden. Why? Why are we gonna talk about age limits? Why? Well, maybe you're moving to Sweden or you're visiting Sweden and you, you have kids or you are a minor or you are a teen. Well, maybe the age limits are not really what you thought they would be. So this video is important for you to stay out of trouble. But before we start, I wanted to quickly remind you of SayItInSwedish.com where I got more free content for you. And if you want to support what I do and you want to get some more content on the site, you can become a Patreon member. All the links are in the description down below. Age limits are kind of similar all over the world, but definitely not the same. And some countries have totally different age limits than you would expect. So. To stay out of trouble, it's important to know about these. So I'm gonna uh, talk about some of the major ones in uh, Sweden. We have a few more, but I think these are the ones that are important to you, and these are the ones that I was that I was aware of as a kid, etc. So let's jump right into it. We have age seven. You are allowed now to <laughs> visit the cinema for. Uh, certain movies. So we have different age limits for movies. We have, well, zero. There are, but most movies are from age seven. It's a recommendation, but uh, for cinemas, they have to have this limit. So seven is one, 11 is one, and 15 is one when it comes to movies. So at age seven, you, you are allowed to go to the movies and see certain types of movies. When you are 11, you are allowed to see certain types of movies without an adult, but you are also allowed to see adult movies. Well, this is not adult movies. I guess I kind of pushed myself into a corner here, but what I mean is that you are allowed to see movies that are meant for mature audiences uh, in the company of a grown-up, basically. You get to see all movies that you can find in the cinema, all right? We, we don't have porn in the cinema. Maybe you do, I don't know. But we have regular movies. <laughs> when you are 13, you're actually allowed to get a job in Sweden. But obviously, since you need to go to school, it can't be a job that affects your education or it can't affect your health or development in any way. But you're allowed to perform lighter tasks. I, I, I guess it's like you can perform in a play professionally or dance or uh, you can sing at a concert or you do some modeling, etc, etc, right? The things that kids do. <laughs> there are also some exceptions to this so that you can do this at a younger age, but generally 13 years old, you can get a light, simple job. Also, you are a teenager in Sweden, so congratulations! But now to the juicy stuff. When you are 15 years old, your life begins. You have a criminal liability, so in some extreme cases you can go to jail, but mostly you will go to juvenile. Uh, so don't do that, stealing, no stealing, no murdering around, don't do that, because you have criminal liability, yeah. You can, you're also allowed to, uh, to get a moped. And that's basically like the huge thing people talk about. When you're 15, you get a moped. I never got one. I didn't want, I didn't want one. I don't know why. It does, it didn't feel like something I wanted to have. So I, I never, I've never driven a uh, moped. Actually, I don't have a driver, driver's license at all, but I practiced with a car. I drove to school, but uh, never a moped, actually. Also, you can get a driver's license for a tractor now. So you get a tractor, great. You get a tractor, you also, everyone gets a tractor and also everyone gets energy drinks because the stores in Sweden have some decency and they applied this age limit to energy drinks themselves. It's not in the law, but most stores have this age limits limit because they have some decency and I don't know suddenly every kid started to buy energy drinks and people started dying because they had too much and whatever they 
stuff happened. I didn't drink energy drinks and uh, well my generation didn't really drink that much energy drink. I don't know what happened actually. Suddenly all 12 year olds started to drink energy drinks so they needed this uh, basically. So points for that for doing it without having a law that forced them to do so. In Sweden, at the age of 15, you're also now allowed to have sex. Yes, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> there are a few things to mention here. So if you're under 15, both are 14, for instance, uh, they don't have criminal liability, etc. So what are you going to do? However, um, depending on the case, you can get into trouble with social services. It depends. You know, it depends on the case if they are, especially if they are even younger, right? Well, it, it speaks for itself. If the 15 year old is kind of dependent on the other party, the other rules apply. So then you have to be 18 and obviously it's never allowed to have sex with your own child or, or even if it's an adopted child, if you're a guardian, that's never allowed. And these age limits are also a bit loose when it comes to like if you're just under and just above. If it comes to a trial or whatever, then uh, they can rule in your favor. If it's all like if you're all consenting to it and one person is 14 and one is 16, it's like, yeah, then it's not that big of a deal. It's just to be able to protect children from older predators basically from from uh, being raped it's all rape or sexual uh, harassment if all these things don't work together so to speak yes let's move on 16 is a very interesting age in sweden so when you're 16 you're allowed to spend your own money that you have earned on whatever you are uh, you are allowed to handle your own economy so you can take a job a pretty regular job but with some limitations you can start a business if you want so if you earn money you can you can spend that money on whatever you want or invest however you want you're also allowed to drive a car but not get a driver's license you're all only allowed to uh, to practice basically so your parent, for instance, can can get a permit to teach you how to drive. So we can, or we, <laughs> the 16-year-old and the parent or the adult that is over 24, I think, with a permit, they are both allowed to practice driving in public, basically. At 18, you are now a grown-up, but not quite. We are almost done. But basically, uh, the basic stuff applies to you now, so you can get married, you can get a driver's license, uh, you can get alcohol at a bar and in the supermarket, but you can't get stronger alcohol from System Bolaget. You can buy uh, tobacco now, you can become a uh, police. Well, it takes a few years, you can educate yourself to become a uh, policeman or yeah, you can do porn. But basically, the most normal basic stuff almost apply <laughs> to you now. But when you're 20 years old, then you are allowed to get drunk at home. <laughs> you can buy strong alcohol, vodka, whatever, strong beers, wine, etc. You can do that now, you can buy that and get drunk at home. You couldn't at 18 or 19, but you can at 20 years old. You can also become poor by gamble away your money at a state-owned casino now. <laughs> there are a few more age limits that we could go through but I don't think they are that important for this video. Uh, you can look this up on Wikipedia if you want. I just wanted to say that at 25 you are basically now really an adult at 25. <laughs> yeah, you, you are allowed to get a vasectomy now, sterilize yourself, adopt a kid, etc. So I would say 25 now you're an adult for reals. <laughs> Hopefully you found this video interesting and educational. And if you want to see more stuff about Sweden as a country, please let me know in the comments down below and give this video a like so that I know in the future what, to, what content you want from me. Also, if you want to learn Swedish, you can do that on Sweden Swedish. 
youtube.com. I've got free lessons and other content for you there. If you want to support me, you can do that on Patreon. And if you want to talk to me, you can do that on social media or on Discord, where I'm spending most of my sad time. Yeah. So go there. And I'm pointing there because Discord is up on that screen. Go there and talk to me and we will see each other in the next video. Hej bra. Puss och kram. Nyp i skärten. Vi ses. Hej hej. And of course I want to thank all my patrons for the support. Especially Kelly Primo, Chris Whitmire, Lane Bartlett, Traveler Luke, Toby Elizabeth Rexford and Nico Peachman. Thank you so so much. 